1959 Rambler Wagon from Johan. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And I've got a real rare treat for you. Anytime you see Johan, it is a, a great treat because Johan is now owned by Oki Spalding and this is his one and only kit that's available on the market which hasn't been available in a very long time because hey we all want Oki to start pumping out the plastic but I don't know what he's doing. However, I managed to get one of these at the Golden Age back in the early 2000s. So I want to open this thing up. I want Oki to to produce more of these because I want to buy like 30 so I can build all the options in this kit because this thing is massive, massive. So now let's go open up the plastic and check it out. Now we have a real treat for you when we open this one up. This is a Johan 1959 Rambler Wagon curbside custom cruiser. So that means it has no motor with multiple building options, a skill level two kit. Now, Oki Spalding owns Johan currently, and this is the only kit he's actually put out in all the time that he's owned it. We really do wish, Mr. Spalding, that you would bring out more stuff. We've been waiting a long time for it. But I was able to get one of these, and I mean, this kit has a whole ton of cool parts. Now, you're going to have to forgive me if I don't open up the bags in this, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so, a Rambler was, of course, American Motors. And let's just have a look. Now, to start with, we'll look at the instructions on this. And I think I'll... There we go. Let's back the camera up a little. So we got our 59 Rambler wagon. And it gives you a bunch of history on the AMT. AM, American Motors Corporation, sorry. <laughs> now this may look a bit barbaric in some instances because this is a promotional model kit. Johan made a lot of them back in the early, early days of automotive history. In fact, you used to be able to go into the car dealership and get a promotional model kit of the car you bought, which was really cool. So back in, like, let's say, 59, you went into a dealership and you wanted this Rambler. Well, you could actually purchase a model, which was this one. So the undercarriage is very basic. It's just something flat, and you pound your wheels in with this big claw mallet hammer. No, anyway, <laughs> nobody would do that, but... You do tap them in with a hammer, and then it's all screwed together. So they added in details in this kit, like all these suitcases and a cake. Oh, so you get a cake box, luggage, a cooler, and a bowling ball bag. So that's real 50s stuff there. And they give you some... Uh, it looks like two steering wheels, so you could build this as the Ambassador and, or as a regular Rambler. Now the interior, of course, is one piece with a single instrument panel. They've also given you all the different colors you can paint in there. And the paint codes. And then you can cut out the side glass if you want a window down gives you a luggage rack on the back and a bunch of things and that's basically how your rambler wagon would go together now we get into the cool part advanced builders only sedan conversion so if you want to build this into the sedan instead of a wagon you chop the roof off and then you can reshape your roof or use an alter deck lid from the johan 59 dodge which sadly never came out well uh, under Oki Spalding, I should say. And you can use your rear window from the F Johan 56 Pontiac, which, again, never came out. But I do have one of those, actually, at home. File or sand off the cross-country script, and it, it tells you all the stuff you can do. And then, finally, you have your 
sedan version of the Rambler. And now if you flip this over, these are all the decal options. And this is why I can never build this kit. I need to buy 20 of them. Mr. Spaulding, can you please pump out more of these babies? So they give you one for a surf woody with the optional wood paneling in the side. They give you a police cruiser for Covington Police Department. I have no idea where that is. Then you can build it as a lowrider with the flames. You can build it as a delivery truck. You can build it as a taxi. You can build it as a Dodge City police car. You can build it as the ambassador wagon. And here they show you how to change it into the ambassador. You can build it as the rambulance, if you like ambulances. You can build it as a branch county sheriff. And then the optional delivery man pickup, which would be like a Chevy El Camino by cutting the top off. Mr. Spaulding, please re-release this thing. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten options, as well as if you wanted to build it as a regular sedan, ten, eleven different options. Please re-release this model. Please re-release this model. Re-release the model. Now, with putting that aside, here it is a little additional piece for the Rambler 6 and Rambler Rebel V8. The two-tone color design. Color and upholstery available chart is shown on the back. So you can build a four-door station wagon, a four-door in single colors, four-door... Oh, and they give you a wood paneling on the side bit. A four-door sedan and hardtop, and the Ambassador Custom four-door station wagon. Now we're going to look at the decals, and you actually get two decal sheets in here. There's all the license plates. Uh, no Michigan. <laughs> okay, there's the Kentucky and Johan ones. All kinds of stuff. I mean, just wonderful. Like, there's the um, stuff for the, what do you call it, ambulance. There's the different police departments. Ramblin' rows for your custom. These are side panel bits, you know, for the chrome trim. Here's your flames. They give you either black or white. I mean, it, this is just phenomenal. Like, why, why not make us more of these? Okay, so... Here's the body. This is all together. Of course, it all comes apart. Tinted glass, tinted green glass. Uh, would be nice if the windshield was clear, though, but anyway. Okay, looking at the body. It's Keep in mind that this is a promotional model, so they were never quite crisp. They were kind of chunky in their design. I mean, look at the that. I mean, you, you can do better with resin, I hate to say, but still, the fact of the history of this kit and that Mr. Spaulding was able to re-release it for us at least once, I mean, it's it's very good still. And you got your rambler across the back here on your tailgate. There you go. That's better. I mean, very simplistic. The interior, of course, there's really nothing there. But again, you got to consider this was a promo from about 1959 originally and there's your underpan like it served its purpose this was a dealership model you bought it when you bought your car you know no one was expecting a miracle but mr spaulding of course added a whole bunch of cool stuff in here just to make it not feel so <laughs> so so sad <laughs> i guess i don't know what you want to call it uh, there's a lot of flash on this chrome, but it doesn't seem to have been affected on the parts. But I mean, still, the other thing about this is it's a rambler, and you're not really going to find that in too many places. So there's your lake pipes on there, moon hubcaps, uh, big stick shift. There's the sirens for your police. That's the top of the flashing light. They used to call it the bubblegum, bubblegum machine light. 
Okay, you got surfboards and luggage for you guys that like the 25th scale figures and that. There's your steering wheel. Again, very basic, very chunky looking. But still, I mean, where are you going to find a Rambler, right? And that would be your cake box and your bowling ball bag. Yabba dabba doo! I need bowling shoes. <laughs> okay, here's a little thing here. Oops. The wheels do not fit the tires. As a temporary fix, our partners will supply you with a set of wheel backs for free! Oh, sorry, for a free set of wheel backs, send a self a dramp thing down to Dallas, Texas. With a note begging Mr. Spaulding to please re release this model about 29 times. And he also gives you these optional fender skirts. And now you're talking a promotional axle. Look at that baby. It's even knurled, so it'll go into the wheel backs. And there's your typical Johan tire. Now I guess you could also use wheel backs. Well, let's see here. Yeah, there's the wheels. So if you don't have the wheel backs, I suppose the tire is going to not do too well. But if you have old Johan kits, you know basically you've got a few extra wheel backs kicking around anywhere. Or you could actually go the AMT Ertl route and saw those off and use the hubcap and pop it into an AMT wheel with a thinner metal axle. You know, it's your choice. And here's the body screws. You know, very, very big and scary actually, but hey, that's how it was. And there's the red dome for the top of the police siren. So again, a very cool, awesome kit. Simple as a kit, but awesome for all the features. And we just need Mr. Spaulding of Johan to, like, pump out more of these guys and all the other molds he has. However, this will end our review of the 1959 Rambler Wagon by Johan. I have to interject something in this kit, something I did not see until I actually was going to put the lid back on. Look at this, on the inside of the box, it shows you building a Phantom Delivery Man pickup. And it shows you how to saw the interior off at a certain point, and to make up a back wall and everything, and cut the roof down and all that. As well as over here. Oh, that's a continuation of it. But yeah, again, please, Mr. Spaulding, what are you doing, man? Pump out more of these. Pump them out. Do it now. Do it now. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Johan 1959 Rambler Wagon. And if you want to see what other kind of cool cars we've got on our website that I can ship to you if you can buy from me, you know, it's one of those, I pat your back, you pat my back. <laughs> anyway, check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you would like to subscribe to us, please click over here and check out these other three amazing videos. And until next time, hey, check out a Rambler.